Hi, I'm Jeff Fox. I'm a meteorologist, and as it turns out, I have a TV studio, and I make weather maps. So I thought tonight I'd talk to you a little bit about Hurricane Florence. Category 4 storm, top winds 140 miles per hour, though the Hurricane Center admits in their technical discussion that maybe that's just a teeny bit generous, but even if it is, this is one big honking storm out in the Atlantic. Things to look at, it is very round. It's symmetrical. That means it's not being hurt by any upper air wind or anything that might impinge upon it. And the eye is pretty small, about 15 nautical miles at last check from the Hurricane Center. This is from this afternoon when we still had some daylight and could use visible satellite imagery, but you can see there are even vortices spinning inside the eye. Uh, tonight, the eye not quite as nice looking, if you will, as it was this afternoon. One of the reasons the Hurricane Center is saying that the 140 may be a little bit generous, a little bit ratty, a little bit ragged, and the reason probably is because this storm is going through an eye wall replacement cycle. If you take a look at the wider picture, especially these outer bands of cirrus cloudiness here, uh, you'll notice that everything continues to be round and there's just nothing pushing up against this storm. So it looks like it is going to maintain its strength or possibly even gain a little strength. Though the truth is, at 140 miles per hour, it is very difficult to get any more powerful. It's much easier to lose strength. And the reason is the hurricane has to really stay balanced, stay over warm water. It has to have a lot of things going for it to be this strong. Unfortunately, it looks like those things are going to hold true. So the track would bring it up toward the North Carolina Outer Banks, somewhere in the Carolinas by late on Thursday or early on Friday. And that would bring with it, obviously, storm surge, uh, inland flooding as well, and very strong and dangerous winds. Uh, there will be, if there isn't already, evacuations uh, on all the Outer Banks. There, they're just barrier islands, only a few feet above sea level in most cases, and uh, maybe in some inland areas as well, because uh, some water will continue to back up, especially north of the storm, where the wind will be pushing more water toward the shore. By the way, if you're wondering, you know, you see this storm on the satellite, how big the hurricane winds are. It's the inner circle that's the hurricane winds. That's about, it's, it's not really circular, but it's about a diameter of 60 nautical miles. And uh, the outer band is tropical storm force winds. And you can see it cuts in a little bit here to the southwest, but it's around 110, 120 nautical miles diameter, except down to the southwest. So this storm will continue to move up to the northwest. That means it's going to continue to move through warm and possibly a little warmer water. Uh, the water underneath right now is about 84 degrees, and I see it going up maybe a degree or two or three before this storm makes it to the coast. Meanwhile, it looks like the worst of this storm might not even be what it does from its wind and its storm surge, because once this hurricane comes on shore, it is going to be very, very wet, and it looks like it's going to bring much of its rain uh, to portions of North Central North Carolina and into Virginia. Now, earlier today, and uh, this is from the Weather Prediction Center, their call was for about 10 inches in a bullseye through this weekend. This is a seven day forecast. Now it's down to about seven inches, but still these are significant rain amounts. They're gonna fall in a small amount of time, a short amount of time, I should say. And uh, they're going to fall in many cases in really hilly areas. Uh, flooding looks to be a real problem inland from this storm as it moves in. And that will probably develop on Friday and into the weekend. So uh, there's the latest on Hurricane Florence. Top winds 140 miles per hour and probably making landfall sometime late Thursday or early Friday. By the way, if you enjoyed this, uh, please feel free to share it with your friends or retweet it, whatever you want to do. I'm good with it. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.